the book, so I, the idea of the book came from His Royal Highness himself. After he came back from the Paris conference, he was speaking to a friend who suggested that actually a guide to climate change for people to really to try and get to grips with the complexity of the issue and the challenges would be really useful. And so His Royal Highness turned to Tony Juniper, who's been um, a special advisor to his Sustainability Institute for many years. And then I worked closely with Tony Juniper, particularly through the Cambridge Institute for Sustainability Leadership. And so the three of us then got together and worked together to, to, to pull together the book. So as authors, we really wanted to ensure that all the material that we had in the book could be um, said to be robust and evidence-based. And so we thought that having the book go through a peer review process, despite no penguin and ladybird book ever having been through a peer review process before, would be really helpful in that regard to certify the, um, the material that was in the book. So we approached the Royal Meteorological Society as the professional learners society for weather and climate to undertake that review. And David Warrillow, who is chair of their special interest group on climate science, very kindly agreed to act as the review editor. And then seven further um, expert reviewers were appointed. When we, we as authors went through many, many, many initial drafts of the manuscript, and um, in writing that first draft, we tried to ensure that all statements in the book refer back to the peer review literature. When we were then comfortable with the first draft, we then sent it to the reviewers um, who made their comments in the usual way of academic peer review. Um, and then um, the review editor came back to us with those comments. We made revisions accordingly. And then the final version went back to the reviewers for their final approval. I don't think I would single out any single thing. I mean, climate science is an area that's complex, multifaceted, and a lot of the statements that we can make as scientists are quite nuanced. And I think the biggest challenge was trying to fit all of that into 5,000 words. Um, so I don't think there's any particular topic area that I would single out as being challenging. Really, it was boiling down all that nuance um, in a way that still did maintain the robustness of the statements. Well, I, I mean, in a way, I think there's a huge amount in the book, possibly even too much. I mean, it's almost like, you know, all three working groups of the IPCC report into a Penguin Lederberg book. Um, so I don't think that there's uh, an awful lot more that we could possibly have squeezed in. We, ha we did try to not only talk about the science and um, the the, the climate challenge, if you like, we also tried to talk towards the end of the book about the opportunities, and we talked a little bit about some of the technological innovations that um, are starting to bubble up. I think if we'd had more space, you know, probably an entire other Ladybird book could be devoted to talking about those opportunities and the new innovative technologies in more detail, and perhaps that's why I would think that there's opportunity to expand on what we've written. So the way that it works was that we, all three authors, originally agreed a structure of the different pages that we were going to write about. And then, as you say, Tony and I did divide things up initially in, the, in terms of the first writing task. But then after that very first draft through, then we were very much all three involved in iterating upon that. So at the end of the day, um, we all had a contribution to all the pages. Um, it wasn't deliberately designed to follow IPCC. Actually, it was deliberately designed to follow what we felt were the questions that people would ask. So there is a bit of a structure which is what's happening in the world? Why is that happening? What's going to happen in the future? What might happen in the future? And what can we do about it? There's the sort of narrative that flows through um, the book.
So there's a website um, that's listed at the end of the book, which has all the um, references that we've provided for each of the different pages in the book through to the peer-reviewed literature. And our intention is to keep that permanently updated. Um, and then, uh, and I, well, without committing to anything, I would imagine that as new editions of the book are produced, we might very well want to ensure that those are kept up to date.